Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of Easy Cooking video and I'll talk about how to cook Super 7 Food Immune Booster in 20 minutes. So I have all the ingredients right here and uh, this shouldn't take uh, long. So I'm looking at about 22 22 minutes and I'm going to uh, use a frying pan which is going to be like this uh, and uh, this is you know non stick. So you can do it about 20 minutes if you use frying pan but if you use one of the pots like this then it's going to take a longer and the vegetables kind of get mushy in it so it's easier to cook when you're using a frying pan so let's go over the ingredients today so we have a seven superfood and these are one of the best uh, superfoods you can buy they're immune booster they're full of antioxidants minerals vitamins so basically if you're eating these every day or on a regular basis uh, you are immune system and is going to improve you're going to be healthier you're going to be uh, you know feeling much better so basically uh, it's hard to beat this vegetable dish and that's why you know I'm going to show you how to cook this very easily this is not it doesn't take a lot of effort so only effort is that you have to go to the supermarket and buy these uh, ingredients and some of them actually I'm using uh, they're frozen they're not even uh, fresh but you know the reason I use frozen for example uh, and the kale which is right here and then the broccoli and uh, I use these uh, frozen because you know they are uh, easy to cook and I tried uh, buying kale uh, you know fresh but it's very hard to wash and uh, sometimes even I wash like in you know, five ten times I still get some soil in it because kale is one of the foods that is full of soil so it's easy to have uh, you know uh, frozen and uh, you cannot beat a machine wash so let's go over our ingredients one by one and I'm going to start off with the uh, shard so there are two types of shard you can buy uh, one is green shard and one is red shard so this is the uh, green shard and you can see the nice uh, greeny leafy texture and kind of like a mixed red color and then we have here um, asparagus and I don't have to tell more about asparagus one of the best uh, superfoods you can buy out there and then here we have uh, rapini rapini is slightly bitter and it's very green and it's a very fast cooking so you don't have to actually cook a lot and uh, you know if uh, for some people they might uh, taste the bitterness but I've been uh, you know using or eating a uh, rapini for long so I don't feel bitter anymore so this is one of the foods I or vegetables I eat every day and then here is we have tomatoes and uh, you know I don't have to introduce tomatoes more you all know what is tomato and the benefits and then here we have the kale and uh, usually I buy kale uh, frozen uh, the reason I mentioned you before that you know it's much cleaner if it's frozen and you can see it's like you know deep or dark green with a very nice color deep color and texture and then we have here broccoli this is also frozen but you can use fresh too and then we have here uh, mushroom and uh, this is organic mushroom because mushroom attracts lots of soil and like you know uh, things from ground so it's easy better to have uh, organic otherwise uh, if you are buying regular then just make sure that you are washing uh, very good and then we have our uh, main uh, one of the main ingredients of not just vegetables but any cooking uh, onion and garlic so you can see that you know I cut onion two different ways so for example uh, this one is kind of almost whole onion but it's cut uh, you can see that you know if I just uh, press it is gonna be like you know open and then here I already like you know take it removed it and then it's like you know already uh, cuts in pieces but this is going to give you like you know kind of it's going to take a uh, little bit longer in the uh, frying pan to remove from its uh, size and then we have uh, garlic uh, the reason I cut garlic this way because uh, I don't want garlic to melt in the vegetables I want them to kind of stay whole so that's why I cut this way so this is one medium size garlic uh, and this is one medium size onion and then here we have about one teaspoon of uh, turmeric or some call it turmeric and then we have little salt maybe one teaspoon uh, I usually try to try to go very low on salt and then we have a little bit of red pepper not too much but if you don't like like you know spicy or red pepper you can just skip that and then uh, these ingredients actually uh, it's just kind of you know common sense uh, you can uh, change them or you can increase one decrease another so basically what I cook uh, what I have here uh, this is good enough to fill up this uh, frying pan uh, right here 
and it's not going to be over uh, the size or you know too small so this is a perfect quantity for to cook one time and then uh, we have uh, oil and I always use extra virgin olive oil but you know I didn't show you how much oil I'm putting in because you know it's not uh, I'm just going to be putting in about uh, one tablespoon or little or less and so these are our main ingredients so let me just count if we have seven superfoods because uh, I don't want to miss anything so we have one two three four five six seven so you can see that we have seven superfood and let's uh and the name of the ingredients again uh green shard asparagus rapini tomatoes kale broccoli mushroom and then here we have uh, onion uh, onions one medium sized onion not too big one garlic and uh, turmeric and a little bit salt and a little bit red pepper and i i'm going to be putting in one spoon of oil so that's the preparation and the ingredients now let's start with the frying pan and then i'm going to be putting them one by one just before i start doing that you have to be mindful about which one you, you're putting first and which one you are putting uh, later uh, because uh, some of the items here they take longer to cook some of them are they take shorter to cook so for example uh, here we have mushroom which is going to take the longest so i'm going to put this first and then uh, here broccoli is very like you know uh, little time uh, it takes to cook so i'm going to be putting it at the end and then uh, tomato i want them to uh, you know be intact or whole so i'm going to be putting them at the end so i'm going to start with mushroom and then the next ingredient takes a little bit long to cook is going to be the kale and then i'm going to be putting in the rapini and then like you know uh, shard and then i'm going to be putting in uh, asparagus and then tomato and then broccoli is going to be at the very end so basically once i put in broccoli you can you can s say that you know the cooking is almost over uh because i'm just going to be putting in like you know one minute before or a couple of minutes before i finish the cooking so that way broccoli is going to st stay like you know still like you know very green and very like in you know, a whole you cannot even tell that it's been cooked so that's the basics of the beginning so let's start uh, turn on the stove and then we're going to start you know putting our ingredients one by one so i have turned on the stove uh, at medium heat which is right here and it's a little bit hot right now so i'm going to start with oil so i'm going to just very quickly put some oil uh usually i don't you know and uh, usually any uh, measurement to put in oil so i just have it like you know i just know how much i need to put so i'm going to put in some oil and my guess would be that you know this is uh, a tablespoon or lesser than a tablespoon and then you can see that you know the oil is uh, kind of uh, all over right now so I'm just you know spreading it out and so, and you know you can see that uh, this is uh, hot I can feel you know the heat so I'm going to be starting in uh, the first thing uh, the onion garlic and the spices so I'm going to be just you know uh, pour the whole thing into here and you're gonna start like you know getting some noise and I might have to turn on the exhaust fan it all depends so let's start with that okay so this is empty I'm going to be just putting it in here and uh, I can see the smoke is coming up so I'm just going to have to turn on the you know vent fan a little bit so there's going to be a little bit of noise uh, sorry about that but you know there's no other way so I'm going to just you know uh, put this little bit right here and we're going to see how it works right now so I can do this about like you know a couple of minutes or three minutes just to make the onions and garlic everything just slightly cooked and then I'm going to be starting with the mushroom so it looks a little bit dry but you know once I put in mushroom uh, it should be okay but you know if uh, in case I feel it too dry I might need to add some water but I'm not hoping or thinking that you know I may need to uh, put in some water so 
So I started, uh, it just passed about one minute. So I'm not gonna wait anymore. Uh, let me just, you know, throw in some mushroom right now. So you can see that noise is changing a little bit. So what happens when I'm going to be putting in uh, like you know kale or rapini, they have water in it uh, and even the shard. So that should be good enough for the water. So right now I'm just going to leave it here like this. And actually I can just, you know, use one of the cover for my uh, pot just to, you know, keep them together so the heat gets evenly spread and it makes faster. So I can do that. It's not going to cover the whole thing, but that's the way I want. I can just like, you know, put everything inside here and then we'll just wait a little bit and let it run. So I'm looking at about, you know, uh, I would say about a couple of minutes or let's say three minutes. And in between, you know, you have to just like, you know, uh, move them a little bit so it doesn't get uh, burnt. Uh, you have to just keep an eye. And still the heat is at medium. So I haven't changed the heat anything and I'll try to keep it that way. Uh, I don't like to put too high or too low because that's gonna like you know make the cooking uh, faster or slower but it, when it's at medium then you know it's uh, tasting uh, perfectly the way I want and everything remains not too cooked or not too undercooked so you can see that uh, it's uh, coming very well and I can get the spices of turmeric so one thing about the uh, spices is that you know you can usually turmeric can go with anything and it's a very healthy you know uh, another superfood uh, that has shown lots of health benefits so i try to turmeric in everything but if you would like to add some more spices you can do so but usually i don't uh, when i cook vegetable turmeric is the only thing i put in and slightly like you know uh, red pepper and actually at the end I might add some uh, black pepper which I haven't mentioned before but you know those are optional you don't really have to but you can if you'd like okay so at this point you can see that you know there's water coming out a little bit and it's getting heated so I'm just going to be uh, putting in the kale because kale takes a little longer to cook so okay so most of the kale are in here now and it's cooking very nicely So I'm just going to cover that again a little bit, but it's not going to be too long. And then within another couple of minutes, I'm going to be putting in the uh, shard, rapini and asparagus. And then tomatoes and the broccoli is going to be at the very end. So we passed about, I would say, five, seven minutes. So I'm just going to wait here another couple of minutes. And what I mentioned before, you can see that, you know, water is coming in right now. I didn't add any water or anything, although in the beginning it looked dry. But now you can see that, you know, it's uh, getting lots of water and even you can see some water here. So I'm going to just cover this again. And let's wait another couple of minutes. So the heat is still at medium and, you know, it's cooking nicely. So 
So I'm going to be starting uh, putting in uh, everything from here. So we have uh, shard, uh, rapini, and asparagus. So I will start with shard, and then I'll move on to uh, rapini and asparagus. So I'm going to be just putting like this. And then we have some shard here. Okay, so all those are done. Uh, I'll just wait a little bit for the asparagus to throw in. And in the meanwhile, let's just like, you know, mix them together. And the reason I kept one piece of shard intact, I just wanted to show you how it looks. Some people may not, you know, know shard, uh, but you definitely can use the replacement uh, for that. And I'm going to just like, and I'm going to cover this again. And then I, I would wait about another couple of minutes. So I'm going to just take a look here. Okay, so you can see that, you know, it's uh, cooking very nicely. So right now, I, it looks like I'm okay to go ahead with uh, the mushroom. I'm sorry, the, with the asparagus. So I'm just going to like, you know, put it on top this way. So that way it doesn't get too melted. So I'm just going to cover it. And now let's wait another couple of minutes. And after that, I'll start with tomatoes. So it should pass another couple of minutes or close to two minutes. So now I'm just going to be adding in the tomatoes but i'll just like you know put them kind of right on top and i don't want them to melt it and i'll just like you know move this little bit on the bottom so it doesn't get burnt evenly just i'll spread them out a little bit and tomatoes are here now and so i would say i passed about 17 minutes right now or so uh, it could be like you know one or two minutes plus minus but in that range so right now I'm just going to cover it up for another couple of minutes and then the only ingredients we are left with is the broccoli and after like you know let's say two minutes I'm going to throw in the broccoli but once I put in the broccoli I'm going to turn off the stove because that's the end of cooking and that should be exactly at 20 minutes uh, or it could be like in 21 22 minutes and then the heat from the uh, stove or the heat from the pot should be good enough to do the rest of the cooking so you're looking at kind of another uh, five minutes or seven minutes uh, to from the frying pan heat because it's very hot right now so once i throw in the broccoli i'll just turn it off and that should be it so you're looking at the whole process about 20 minutes because after I throw in the broccoli, you can just like, you know, leave. You don't have to keep an eye on it. So that's going to be the end of cooking and the heat which is retaining inside the frying pan should do the rest of the job. Now, you can see that the asparagus is kind of like, you know, very keeping it's a very nice color. It's not uh, melted or it's not like, you know, uh, too mushy. So it still feels strong or hard but it's getting cooked and then the broccoli is doing a good job uh, too i'm sorry the tomatoes is doing a good job uh it's gonna keep intact but uh, i should don't want it to melt because if you put in broccoli too early it's gonna be all melted and you probably you're not gonna even see any broccoli if you put it uh, put it too first so it's some, one of those uh, items you have to put it at the end and let's uh, wait another minute then I'm gonna like you know start uh, putting in the uh, broccoli so we have come almost to the end I'm going to just throw in the broccoli right now and after that that's going to be the end of the cooking so let's just you know put in the broccoli and I'm going to just like you know, touch a little bit on the bottom just to make sure that nothing is nothing fun is going on 
So asparagus looks very tender and nice and broccoli they're just blending in. So at this point I'm my heat is still medium so I'm just going to cover this again and again this is not going to cover the whole thing but that's the way I want and just want to keep an eye. So I covered this and then right now I'm going to turn off the stove so you can see that you know it's been off and right now the heat in here is going to do the rest of the job so you're looking at another like you know, five minutes but we should be at 20 minutes since I started the first ingredient so that's why you can cook this amazing vegetables full of vitamins minerals you know antioxidants and all sort of good stuff you can possibly imagine super seven uh, best the best uh, super seven food or super foods you can possibly get or one of the best seven foods out there so that's the uh, end of the cooking so I'm just going to show you the whole thing uh, once it cooled down a little bit so I'm going to show you the final product so but the stove is off now and I'll just like you know uh, wait another like you know few minutes before I put in everything on a plate and show you how it looks like hi guys this is the finished product so you can see that the broccoli is very intact it's uh, it doesn't even look like you know it's been cooked but it has been cooked and it's kind of like in a hole and very green and leafy and that's the way I wanted and then we have here rapini so when you cook rapini it's a uh, kind of gets mushy uh, and you can keep it green but then it's still going to be difficult to chew so that's why rapini looks a little bit darker and then we have the asparagus right here and you can see that you know this is whole intact and very green and then we have tomatoes right here and then you can see the uh, onion uh, the garlics are right here they didn't get melted but onions got melted which was supposed to be and then I have found some uh, kale right here so when you cook uh, kale because it was frozen it was cut uh, into small pieces it kind of mixed with everything else so it's hard to separate them but but I was able to do a little bit here and then you can see that uh, this is a uh, mushroom so it came out very nicely cooked and uh, whole and then we have here shard and you can uh, tell that this is shard by its red texture and uh, you can see that you know this looks very good as well so this is our again the full uh, uh, dish and the seven super food uh, full of antioxidants vitamins minerals and we cooked it in about 20 minutes so thank you for watching this video i do have a few more uh, cooking videos which is going to be under uh, the cooking easy cooking playlist so if you like what you see uh, definitely you can check out the other videos and uh, there will be more videos coming up so i'll see you shortly thank you